the great Bill Monroe took up the mandolin because his brothers already had all the instruments and the mandolin was the only thing left for him. Leroy took up the dobro because he wanted to join a band and they had all the other instruments so they said, you learn a dobro, isn't that right? Okay, he's about to celebrate I think 50 years in bluegrass music. He's a legend in the lifetime. And here he is, backed by one of the most powerful bluegrass bands you're going to hear. So please welcome Leroy Mack with the special consent. Oh. <laughs> So we're going to be able to see a lot of Ireland, and uh, we're going to be going up to where the, my family started, up in uh, Cavan County. Yeah. Now, I don't know, I've been hearing some disparaging comments about the men of Cavan County, but I don't believe any of them. I'm going to go find out for myself. But we're going to have a great time uh, exploring our, our roots a little bit while we're here. And uh, well, right now, we're going to do some uh, picking for you. This next song I want to do for you is the first song I ever wrote, and this is for my sweet wife, Jan, right down here in the third row. Would you stand up, Jan, and give me a song? <laughs> well, I only do two kinds of songs, those I've written and those I wished I had. But I did write this one. It's called Just to Prove My Love to You. I'm a mountain, that's what I'll do. I'll fight a bull like a matador. 
walks a kangaroo just to prove my love. Kangaroo just to prove my love personal Rudy right here. I don't even know his name. <laughs> I'll pay whatever it is. Well, not too long ago, the uh, pastor of our church asked me to, to uh, sing a song, a special song at church for uh, this traveling speaker that was coming. And he had a special topic that he was going to speak about called uh, spiritual warfare. And the pastor says, well, would you sing a song about that? I said, I'd never heard a song about that. Uh, he said, well, do the best you can. So I went home and I, I started looking in my Bible and I read about spiritual warfare and about the Apostle Paul and I thought, okay, well, that'll work. So I went to church the next Sunday and got up and sang my song and this special speaker got up and he said, friends, I've changed my topic today. I'm not speaking about spiritual warfare. But anyway, we got a little song about it. It goes like this. Hey, in this world you will have trouble, that's a fact, that's true. And Satan's always out to just obey the truth. If you want to fight the devil and his demons too, you better have God's armor all over you. So put on, put on, put on, put on, put on, put on God's armor if you want to do battle for God. Oh, when you wake up in the morning and you get out of bed, Right on your head. The next thing you do before you get dressed is put the breastplate of righteousness right on your chest. So put it on. So put on, put on, I put on, put on.
That was one of the ones I wished I had. Great song. Well, I tell you, when I found out I was coming to Ireland, I went out and bought me a green cowboy shirt. What do you think? <laughs> of bluegrass music, that means that, that I'm moving on too, you know, and this right here is uh, just a sign of moving on down the line. Now, it's getting old is not for wimps, amen? All right. It takes guts to get old, let me tell you. But, uh, you know, you lose a few things along the way, like a little memory here and there. But I tell you, I'm not as bad as my next door neighbor. A guy named Joe Latragna at home. We took our wives out for dinner, and so we were sitting there having dinner, and someone said, uh, Joe, where did you go to high school? And he said, to high school? I'm going to say high school. He says, oh, I got it. He said, what is that, that flower that grows on the thorny uh, stem? And someone said, Rose. He says, that's it. Rose, where did I go to high school? <laughs> But you gotta stay fit, you gotta stay fit. I've been walking uh, to keep fit, you know, get, keep the old heart pumping. And actually, my grandfather started walking five miles a day when he was asked 65 years old, and he's 95 today, and we have no idea where he's at. <laughs> I took up walking, really, and the reason I took up walking is just so I could hear heavy breathing again, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> anyway, here's a song. This is dedicated, well, I'm not going to dedicate this to anyone special or specific, but uh, here's a song for us old folks. I got out of the shower. 
shower and got a good look at myself. I saw this bald headed man, but it was somebody else. I saw my reflection in the mirror on the bathroom door. No, I just don't look good thinking anymore. Stairs and turned my bedroom mirror to the wall. I placed it there when I was trim and tall. I used to stand there and flex and strut till my arms got sore. I would have just don't look good thinking anymore. I used to go out with the girls. I love them one and all. Now they don't get very close to me, afraid that I might fall. I went down to my doctor for my annual medical exam. Standing there in the buff, suddenly he said, Man, what is it, Doc? Some fatal disease. I gotta know the score. I said you just don't look good thinking anymore. Now me and Janice have a dancing style. Folks say it's unique, but it's only when we're back to back we're dancing cheek to cheek. I went down to the new beach to have a little seaside fun. Laying there in my birthday suit, soaking up the sun. Then somebody yelled, there's an old white whale washed up on the shore. And I just don't look good it anymore. Everybody now, now come on. No, we just don't look good. Thank you.